Adventure is the invitation for common people to become uncommon. Warren Miller. Adventure takes us further than we thought we could go, pushes us out of our comfort zones, and allows us to learn even more about who we really are. Every adventure helps us become great people and strong leaders in the industry. Hi, my name is Elise Holliday. I just started backcountry skiing, and I noticed that there are very few women out in the backcountry, so I set out to change that. I interviewed four women from various skiing backgrounds to answer my question, why should more women backcountry ski? My name is Erin Lane. I work here in the Lake Tahoe area as a ski guide. I also guide in Japan and South America, and I teach wilderness medicine classes and outland trips. Uh, so my name is Sydney Duncan, and I am a Squaw Valley Ski Patroller. My name is Wendy Fisher. I live in Crestview, Colorado. I um, am the Crestview Mountain Resort Ski Ambassador. I do private lessons. And I was formerly an Olympian and World Extreme Skiing Champion and filmed with Warren Miller Magic Productions. My name is Lel Tone. I live in Lake Tahoe, California, and I work at Squaw Valley as a professional ski patroller and also work as a heli guide in Alaska. favorite aspect of backcountry skiing is just being in the mountains, in the snow, in a quiet environment. I also like the aspect of, of earning your turns and walking up the mountain and being able to take in your natural environment. It's, it's hard to imagine who I would be without backcountry skiing or without skiing. It's become such an ingrained piece of my life that it's, uh, it's taught me so much about myself, about what I'm capable of, and about uh, working with nature, being flexible, and knowing the time to be persistent, knowing the times to turn around. And, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's hard to imagine who I would be without skiing. My favorite part of backcountry skiing is um, well, I became an exercise junkie, at, and um, I still am, but not to the same degree, but I really, it just was so peaceful, and it was amazing to be out in the mountains with so few people around you, um, and to ski a line that you hadn't really skied many times before, and to be with good friends, and just the adventure aspect of it. I mean, being a ski racer, growing up skiing at a resort my whole life, uh, when you do something for so long, it's fun to find new angles to make it creative. Creativity is only one of the many strengths that females have. What makes women strong in the ski world? Women uh, usually care for the other people in the group very much and have a, a kind of a group mentality. Well, they say if you bring one woman into the backcountry, um, you'll probably make better decisions than if it's a group of guys. You know, when you look at statistics, I mean, you've heard that, right? Um, and I think maybe what that does is it allows for open communication because truly good decision making in the backcountry is people being able to communicate well. A big advantage of being a female in a male dominant sport is there's not a lot of women. So if you really want to charge hard and make a statement, it's easier to be noticed. I think women in a male dominant workplace bring a lot to making it a more holistic happy place to work
whether you're a seasoned backcountry skier or a novice. Here's some advice from industry veterans to help make your backcountry expeditions even more amazing. I think if you're just starting out in the backcountry or just starting out with anything, it can be very easy to want to go and do the biggest thing you can think of or go out and do some, some really big, difficult objective. And I think just like anything, you want to keep that end goal in mind, which for me, my end goal is that I want to be a backcountry skier my whole life and I want to teach my kids how to ski and I want to live a long life and have my knees work and all those things. So, so taking small steps. Just push through, man. Like, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard no matter what. It's going to be hard no matter what you do in life at all. So you're going to meet up with a lot of adversity and people are going to tell you no. And you just have to believe in yourself. And when people tell you no, just push harder and work harder and try harder. And things start to open up for you if you, if you keep doing that and believe. I would just say for any woman that has the passion and has the love for the mountains, it is totally achievable for you to make a living, like a decent, happy lifetime of working in the mountains. It is absolutely something that you can do. And as I mentioned earlier, all it takes is passion. All it takes is the willingness to work hard for what you want to do. Like lean into the challenge of it and the hardships of it, you know, um, and, and also just enjoy it. That's the point, is to be happy. Although I only recently started taking my skiing beyond resort boundaries, I've already grown so much. I'm stronger and more confident in both my decision making and my skiing ability. As a newcomer to the sport, I would definitely recommend that anyone that loves skiing and exercise should give it a try. Everyone wants more women in the backcountry. Like, I would be very excited to have more girlfriends to go ski with. I feel like the number of, of women that I have been able to spend time with in the mountains is really small and I'd love for it to be bigger. And also, you know, most of the guys that I ski with are wondering where the girls are too. So I think, uh, I think it's, it's certainly a thing, like, don't feel like you're not wanted. Everybody is excited to have more women in the backcountry. And when you're out there with your friends, it goes well. Everyone is blissfully skiing down and having amazing face shots or creamy snow. That, I mean, that's why we do it. At least in my lifetime working in the mountains, they have given me so much and they have provided so much joy. Um, and so I would highly recommend it, um, but there's nothing stopping you from, from doing that yourself. I just truly believe that um, life is about new adventures and if you love something and you enjoy it so much and you feel stagnant, it's fun to just, you know, take it up a notch.
After getting to spend time with all these amazing women, I can say with certainty that women are amazing backcountry skiers. Being in nature with your friends and getting to ski untouched snow, lap after lap is 100% worth it. There are more support systems now than there have ever been before. If you've never tried backcountry skiing, get out in the forest and see how the mountains can transform your life for the better. In the mountains, you can aim for the seemingly impossible and you can achieve it.